Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. I'm here taking a look at the modern ship pack and the new ships that have been put in, not only on the colonial side, but now the Cylon side. As a result of which, I'm here in a quick skirmish mode. Create a new fleet, and I'm going to select Cylon. Now, with the modern ship pack, Cylon ships include a Cylon modern base star command ship, which, unlike their predecessors, these base stars relied solely on missiles and fighter deployments for protection. But these modern base stars utilize an organic hull resin, which allows structural damage to be repaired quickly. Uh, the Cylon Guardian base star is a base star prototype. Although in development, it's shrouded in secrecy. It's the one that escaped from Operation Raptor Talon that was seen at the end of Blood and Chrome. And it's got a hybrid prototype and loads of Centurion, so expect some boarding there. And of course, also the modern Raider, the modern Cylon Raider that we saw in the Ron Moore vision of Battlestar Galactica. So here we go, modern base star. Uh, let's add one of those in. There it is. There's the quintessential look we know from the TV series uh, with the rotating triangles. What can you have in it? You can have guided missiles, uh, projectiles, comet PCMs, all these cluster nukes as well um, that you can add to it. Also, you've got Raider prototypes. You can also have the modern Raider. Uh, now, that adds an additional 80 points to your fleet cap as well. OK, so, you know, you're chipping away at those 16,000 fleet points. But we're going to go full on modern Raider. Okay, modern raider and modern raider and modern raider. Okay, let's add another ship. What have we got? Well, there's a Guardian base star. Okay, 1900 fleet points. It's not bad. Not bad at all. And these, this is the second base star that you can possibly get. Um, it says, although the development of this base star is shrouded in secrecy, blah, 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 blah. The existence of the Guardian base star was witnessed and recorded by members of the crew of the Battlestar Galactica and would again more than 40 years later following the fall. So let's add that in. There it is. Look, you know, similar, very similar. And you can see how that would have evolved um, over several years. Again, you know, you can add it up. What can you get with um, the Guardian base that Well, you've got guided missiles, two missile slots, and three slots for um, for raiders. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four slots on the modern base there. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead uh, and really just look at what squadrons we can fit. I noticed this as well with the Colonials. With the modern base star, you can add the modern fighter. With the Guardian base star, you can't because it was set in an era before that existed. So you're basically stuck with fighters of that generation. Not to worry, though. Um, all good. It just means that we're going to add some more modern base stars. Let's add that. And add another one. See, it's our base stars everywhere. You know, why not? Um, right, let's have a look what that looks like in game. Let's continue. Ready. Because I really am interested to see how this has been rendered. I was very impressed with the colonial ships. The colonial ships uh, were rendered absolutely beautifully. And as a result of which, you know, the Cylon ones are very streak, sleek and streamlined. Okay. So on the colonial side, there was the Mercury class, the Valkyrie class, and the Viper Mark Seven. Oh, and we're not disappointed, are we, everybody from Battlestar Galactica land? Look at that. Let's take a look at the new ship and what you can do with it. So we've got uh, a tactical jump. We can jump anywhere within a boundary. So we'll have a go at that. Um, We've got hack, and you can change your system processes as well. Let's look at this one. Um, what else? We've got tactical jump munitions. Okay, we can fire our missiles off. We know this. 
um, system processes. Again, you can increase processes to, for example, fire control, the expense of everything else to do more Distribution damage. Distribution complete. Distribution complete, you said. Uh, in addition to that, then again, we can repair some subsystems like we see on other ships and launch our squadrons. So we'll launch all our modern raiders just so we can see what's going on there. Uh, and again, you can hack at the ships that are nearby. So that's good. Let's look at this Guardian base star. What can this do? Predictive augury. Don't know what that is. Ah, that basically predicts what that ship is. Reveals it so you can get your missiles off quickly. That's quite good. Uh, again, you've got squadrons, repair systems, and turrets. Uh, focus fire on that. Um, munitions. Let's fire everything at that. Launch sequence activated. Um, yeah, great. Repair subsystem. I do like the look of this one, though. I really do like the look of that. Look at that. Isn't that just beautifully rendered and imagined in this game? I think it is. Um, we're not going to launch any of that because I want to see my other raiders. So let's end turn uh, and see how things go. Thanks, right, so I've jumped. That's great. Covered the crown really quickly. I fired all my missiles off at that initial base there. That's great. Um, got three turns now for the um, launch sequence activated. FDL drives to spool. Great. Calculating. Let's uh, take that out. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look at the modern radar. Now we can see a silhouette of it there, look. Yes, we know where they are. And you can see the very sort of like claw and hook version of the radar. And it'd be interesting to see this um, in the replay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to complete this mission, hopefully the best I can, and we'll come back in the replay. So here I am in the replay. There's our Guardian Battlestar, uh, base star, firing missiles. There's the view of the radar. A few tactical jumps there. Let's kick pause and whiz around. And it is, and it's exactly how we saw it in the in the game. You know, I mean, the graphics are amazing on it. It's been really well rendered. Um, let's take a look down now at some of the others. That's our opponent. Here's the Guardian base star of ours. Take a look at the top. You can definitely see a, you know, a design evolve from that. Let's look at some raiders. Now we had a, a bit of a look as well. Yeah, they're the typical claw we've grown to expect from a Cylon raider. Let's go into photo mode. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Let's save the screenshot of those. Quite a nice backdrop as well, makes a change from the black. That's what I like about Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Let's move over, take a screenshot at that. But really, what I want is the quintessential look here of all these base stars and we'll get a screenshot of that as well i think what we'll do we'll um get rid of the cinematic bars a little bit of a vignette on it uh, and then with the color again we'll richen up the temperatures 
and get that screenshot. Might even use that as the icon as well for our thumbnail. Although that's quite good as well. And the game has just crashed. Have found some stability issues with um, the version of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. I've fed it back to my contact at Slytherin Games as well, who say they'll pass it on to the developer. See how you get on with it. I've been finding um, crashes like this in regards to photo mode uh, and uh, in some parts of the game. So very important, save your game. Fortunately though, um, that's not gonna bother us because I've basically done what I wanted to do. I've got my pictures. So despite this crash, I managed to get some pretty good pictures. We can barely see the raiders there, you know, but a fantastic, you know, galactic backdrop with a nebula behind. And here we can see the Guardian base star in all its glory. And then following on from that, we've got a bit of a montage of the battle that was going on with the modern base stars as well. Thanks for watching. I've been Ricardo. This has been Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and the Modern Ships Pack. We've looked at the Cylons this time, not the Colonials. Check out the video on that. Like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.